Hey guys, my name is Yasin. Welcome back to EP8. Oh yeah, we made it. Um, by the way, I just want to apologize in advance real quick. So I I streamed um, episode 8 like two days before Thanksgiving. So I got a little excited and I was talking to my chat about Thanksgiving dinner and Thanksgiving food. Um, and I talked about it in certain parts that I couldn't edit it out because it would be during like a, what... It'd be during some of the story parts, but like, but the subtitles are on, so you guys will be able to read it. It's not, I didn't do it in every single story part, but I did do it in some and I couldn't edit it out, so I'm going to apologize in advance for that. But if you can get around that, this part gets really good. We finally get to figure out what happened to Laura McKierney, um, and we get to figure out what happened to Max, and a little bit about the story, and a little bit about what they're turning into, and how it sort of happened. We get a little backstory. Um, so I'm going to shut the fuck up and we're going to dive into it. Let's go. Oh, so, the uh, past behind us. Why didn't you come? Where have you been for the past two months? We did come. One night early. That was our mistake. Oh, we get to hear the story. Okay. Well, at least I know it's still working. What's your favorite thing to eat for Thanksgiving? Mine is definitely the turkey. But, I mean, I feel like... And pumpkin pie, okay? I love pumpkin pie. What have you done to Max? Shut up. You can't just... Shut up! This is an interrogation. I ask, you answer. Here we go. Name. Laura Kearney. Who are you traveling with? And what is your relationship? Max Brindley. He's my boyfriend. Where were you headed last night? To Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp. You already know this. What have you done with Max? No. I ask, you answer. Oh, That's he sounds like works. such a dick. Well, I'm not seeing shit until you tell me where Max is. Is that so? Yeah. You can't keep us here. I know what this is. This is an illegal detainment. They are waiting for us at Hackett's Quarry, and pretty soon they're gonna figure out we're missing. I want a lawyer. You finished? That sheriff's badge doesn't mean a whole lot if you don't believe in the law. Excuse me? We didn't do anything. You locked us up. Explain that to me. Yeah. Tell Wait. us why, motherfucker. 
I don't think you have any idea what kind of shit you just stepped into. There is shit, and then there's shit. Please. Will you just... Stop trying to intimidate me and tell me what the fuck is going on. Oh my god, turkey skin is the best. Is Max alive? I feel like I'm gonna get hate for this, but I am I not a fan of mashed potatoes. Crazy. But I love turkey skin. <laughs> what? Oh, did I piss him off? I don't know, I just don't like how it tastes. I've never liked mashed potatoes. Let's go. I guess I could have lashed out, but I don't know. Hey. Oh, Max is okay. Hey, you asshole. Both. What I don't like the, the fuck's going on. Max. Why don't you hear me? Unless there's gravy. If there's gravy and I can put a whole bunch on it, then I'll eat it. No. Max. <laughs> I don't like okay? stuffing either. Are you serious? You just left me to fucking die, Lord. Do you really care if I'm okay? God. I don't know what to say, Max. I I was terrified out of my mind. I I don't know what it was thinking. I guess I can't expect you to think clearly in a situation like, well, whatever that was. I'm sorry. I'll get over it. Laura? Yeah? Why am I naked? What? He's naked? I mean, after we got attacked, the next thing I know, I'm waking up in a jail cell and you're gone. And now you're back again, and, and, and I'm super naked, and there's blood and stuff everywhere. I mean, what the fuck happened? <gasps> no! Yeah, so our host was very keen on getting me to confess, but I honestly couldn't tell you what I was meant to be owning up to. Jesus. What he used to try to get you to talk? The pincher, the blade? Three hole punch? No. Three hole punch. He wasn't torturing me. Who does this guy think he is? Well, Sheriff of North Kill, apparently. North Kill? Yeah. Max. What? Did you even look at the map? Hackett's Quarry in North Kill. That's the town. Oh. And it gets better. I gotta look at his name badge and. Shit, so they're kind of like werewolves then. They turn back to human and then they turn into that monster. So that means that their friend might turn back to human and they're gonna think that he's fine, but he's not. Oh shit. Get dressed. What's he giving you? I'm not gonna be the guest of honor at Fashion Week, I'll tell you that much. Hey! <laughs> Did I say you could talk to each other? I wasn't aware we needed your permission, Detective Dick Whippet. <laughs> yeah, it's a free country, Officer Oat. For brains. Dick Whippet. <laughs> I like that. I think he secretly likes us. Yeah, I think that was a smile, guys. Right, it was a half smile, but I'll take it. Hands through the bars. Come on. Oh no, is he gonna chop my hands off? Okay. You never know, especially since Max is the monster. I love Thanksgiving too. My family usually has the Your same turn. meal for Thanksgiving um, on go. Christmas. I'm not going anywhere. We can talk right here. Come on. Hey, hey. Let's get the fuck off. Come on. Move. Good boy. So the only two times a year I have turkey. It's quite depressing. Hey, stop struggling. 
Leave him alone. Yeah, leave me alone, asshole. Both of you shut up. Fuck you. I said shut up. Hey. Hey, you can't treat us like this. You're hurting it. Hey. I'm gonna break out. Let's see. There's gotta be something in here you can use. All right, let's look around. Fuck you. While the town of North Kill lay there sleeping, the hag in the woods started weeping. As the bodies decay, the wolves hunt their prey, and the sheriff continues his creeping. Yeah, very creepy. All right. Bed. Oh, the window. Oh, it's a spoon. Spoon? Were they digging a tunnel by the toilet? I don't know. I played a way out and they moved the toilet to the side and then they made their way out and there's a thing by the toilet. So let's see. Maybe it's not the toilet. Six. need some sort of lever. Like the spoon, per se? my finger in there or not. I mean, I know she doesn't have a choice, but still. A little sketchy. It, man, I bruise easily. That is a sad Thanksgiving. What? So, what did you guys eat? Hey, the second we get out of here, you're toast, motherfucker. Sure. The second you get out. The fuck is that supposed to mean? Shit, he's not gonna let us out of here. What the fuck is that supposed to mean, asshole? Hey, you can't just leave us in here! Hey! Come back! Fuck! That is so depressing! Well, I hope you have a good Thanksgiving this year. Are you okay? It's just a foot. It'll heal. I meant the interrogation. Oh. Yeah. Can't break old Max. Many have tried, many have failed. I'm being serious, Max. He just... He asked a lot of dumb questions. All right, I don't know. Would you get off my back? Jeez, I'm sorry. <laughs> this part is so awkward. I know it's supposed to be dramatic, but... Oh, hey, did you get a look at his name badge? You mean it's not really Detective Dick Whip it? <laughs> it's Hackett. Sheriff Hackett. You think he's related to Chris Hackett? Oh my god, like THE Chris Hackett? Yeah. Who's THE Chris Hackett? 
As in camp leader Mr. Hackett of Hackett's Quarry, remember? Last night feels like a lifetime ago. The fuck does that mean, though? You know? Where we set up? Maybe it's some kind of crazy camp counselor kidnapping ring. That's... I mean... <laughs> what? He's like, no, please, be wrong. Like, some kind of setup, a, a, a trap. I don't know, Chris Hackett and Sheriff Hackett, there's no way that's a coincidence. Okay. They must be related. Well, what does that prove? Uh... They knew we were coming. Maybe it's... some kind of kidnapping, extortion... conspiracy. That's a pretty big job. I'm just trying to get us out of here, and I can't get us out of here until I have some clue of why the fuck we're in here. I don't know. What if we can't make sense of it? What? Then we're screwed. Well, you have to. Sometimes things just don't make sense. What then? We're just stuck in a backwater jail cell for the rest of our lives? I wouldn't know how to answer that either. This isn't forever, Max. You, you can't just hold us here forever. You didn't seem too convinced of that. You gotta stay positive. You can't think like that. Why not? Might as well just accept it, right? No, fuck that! Think about the rest of the summer, Max. And school? I mean, I've been dreaming about becoming a vet since I was five years old. I'm not gonna let this fleabag fuckface stop me. We're gonna get out of here. I'm gonna study to be a vet, and you're... gonna... Um... He didn't what? have any plans. I'm gonna what? I saw the letter, Max. What are you talking about? The rejection letter for college. I found it in your bag. I was a snoopin'. Like Snoopy Snoop Dog. You were poking around in my stuff? I can't believe you didn't tell me. I was embarrassed. Wait, your grades were good and you wrote a great essay? Yeah, apparently not good enough. Fuck! You've been making plans, Max, what the fuck? I don't know, what do you want me to say? I'm sorry, Max. This... This really sucks. Hey, it's not the worst thing to happen this summer. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have kept it from you. I literally have the same exact thing for Thanksgiving. You know you can talk to me about anything, right? So I'll have yeah. the turkey, the mashed yeah, potatoes, the, like, the rolls that go in the oven, literally everything we have for hey, Thanksgiving we have for Christmas. let's just focus on getting out of here for now. Great. Sign me up. We need to go over it from the beginning. Like from when we left home? Like from when we ran into the cop. So after we ran into the... Whatever we ran into? Yeah. Actually... Yeah, that's when shit started getting weird. Do you think it was a good idea to have lied to him? About hitting a pothole? Yeah. I don't know. I think he probably knew we were lying. He was acting really strange. What if he's not even a real cop? Then what is well, he? Well, he's gotta be dirty, but... I mean, I think he's a real cop. We're in a police station. I mean, yeah, but there's like... Nobody else around. Yeah, that is concerning. <laughs> Especially the whole hack and hack it thing. Hack Let's hack just go with thing. the idea that they're both in on it. Okay. So we're supposed to meet Chris Hackett at the camp, and instead... There's nobody there, and we get attacked by something, and then the cop shows up. I mean, the cop was trying to get us to go to a hotel. It's all fuzzy for me. The like, cat I remember that part. the steps and a smell like wet fur and a 
A dog collar with the name Ian on it? Ian? Ian. I don't think it was a dog that attacked us. Whatever it was, was big. Like, person-sized big. Yeah, it really did a number on you. Like, I'm surprised you're not more messed up. Like, like, like I vividly remember the thing's teeth ripping into you. What is messed up about that is... Laura, I don't have a scratch on me. What? Hey, okay, so weird question. Do you remember... before we got lost? You got lost? Well, yeah, <laughs> but before that, I was all like... Whoa, look at the moon. It's so big, so cool to see a full moon in the middle of the woods, and you were all like, yeah, no shit, Max, it happens once a month? Yeah, so? Right, so... You know... Full moon. Yeah. What Werewolves. If, uh, uh... What? Okay. No. Stop. I'm just saying, you know, maybe there's a slight chance... It was a werewolf. Are you out of your- Goddamn mine? <sighs> Werewolves? Seriously? What the fuck? What? 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 What's so funny? I said liter- I said literally the exact same thing. Okay. Do you, you got anything better? I mean, like, zombies? Aliens? Time-hopping Draculas? Ryan, right? Yeah? You want answers? I've got answers. Interrupt me again, you're on your own. I mean, look at her eye. Oof. Whatever. Would it really be so crazy? With all the shit that we've been seeing with Nick? With the thing on the roof? Okay, it would really start to explain a lot of stuff. Dylan. I'm just trying to keep an open mind, okay? This is like your ghost stories. How is this so different from your ghost those, stories? Those are, those are just campfire stories. Like, there has to be a rational explanation for everything. For all of this. See, I don't eat okay, the mustard not devil days. Talking I do so the rational and you separated and my hand ones. from the rest of my body. You told me to. And if it's bite with which you're faced, cleave limb from torso with great haste. Mac and cheese. What? You did the right thing. See? She's got a whole poem about it. There's more to all this than you think. Just let me finish. Alright, come to the rest of the story. for yourself if you believe me or not. I don't care. But I think you should hear all of it. The next few weeks were long. The cop kept us fed and let us take showers, but aside from that, we barely saw him. Max and I, we talked a lot as much as we could about what happened that night. It was like trading conspiracy theories. We talked about the cop, the camp, the accident, the woods, the thing in the basement, what happened to Max. We just kept going over it all again and again, and nothing was making sense. All we knew is that we needed to get out of there. I can't take this anymore. It's not that bad. They're probably in the same crap at camp. No, I can't take being in here anymore. Oh. Yeah, well that part's pretty tough. We've got to do something. We've got to get out of here. We need a, p a plan. We keep saying that. But it's been weeks, so... You know, let me know if you have one. That's really not very helpful, Max. You are forgetting something. What? Just the ETBT tiny detail that I may or may not be a fucking werewolf, you Laura. Just keep it down. So what? What can we do, really? We run off into the sunset only to be stopped when I turn into a nasty ass monster and kill you and eat you <laughs> and then I run off alone into the sunset with little bits of you stuck in my teeth? Okay, okay, stop. Oh I mean, it's not more romantic time. in Twilight. All right, we, we don't even know if that's what's really going on and we won't until we get the hell out of here. Okay. Well, it seems to me that we only have two real options. We can play nice and try to get this guy on our side. What, so he'll let us go? Or... We try to catch him off guard and make our escape. 
Okay, so let's say we get on his good side. What then? Brunch and mimosas every Sunday till he sees the error of his ways? Yeah, I was being rhetorical. The dude doesn't have a good side to get on. I mean, he don't even talk to us half the time. I don't know. I think we could crack him. Laura, I think he's just biding his time until he can figure out a way to get rid of us. Permanently. Oof. I think we should try. I mean, if he was gonna kill us, we'd be dead by now. So what's he waiting for? Look, we just... If this doesn't work, we try to escape. Deal? Yeah. Deal. So, all right, how are we supposed to get this guy to like us if he won't even talk to us? I don't know. I mean, he's got to have a weak spot, like something we can use. It's not like we don't have time to figure it out. Yeah. Okay. So what's his weak spot? It's one of my favorite foods on the planet. Hey, hey. T-Money. Can I call you T-Money? Why? You can call me Officer Hackett. Hackett? Like as in Hackett's quarry? What's it to you? Just interested is all. Feel like we hardly know you. Well, let's keep it that way, okay? Oh, come on, T-Money. Lighten up, man. <laughs> come on, T-Money. No reason we can't be buds, right? I can think of seven. You're right. We've been just awful, and we really want to make it up to you. Oh. I see what you're doing. Well, it's not gonna work. You think we're just gonna be besties, and I'm gonna let you walk right out of here. Not gonna happen. Asshole! Max! We know what's going on! We know Max is a werewolf! Oh, he stopped. Full moon's in a few days, right? What, what then? No, ma'am. You don't know the half of it. Then fucking tell us! She had a nerve when she said werewolf, though. I said, take your fucking clothes off! Fuck off! Get back! Max, what's going on? <laughs> Get the fuck away from him! Why does he have to take his clothes off? Why don't he just rip them out anyways when he turns into a werewolf? Come here. <gasps> Get off of no, me! No! He's gonna use her as bait! I think he wants her to see. Have a seat. Quit ah! squirming. Yeah, but he's gonna have that, her see right? for herself what Call he is. <laughs> oh, Let shit. Let me go! You're not gonna believe it until you see it for yourself. Ask next time then, dude. Jeez. <laughs> Don't get too close. T, come in. What's your position? T, oh. come in. It's funny because they call them T money. Mm hmm. Just wrapping things up here. Help! Hey, he's got his whole prisoner at the police station! Help us! Who was that? Over. Nothing. On my way. Over. Fucking bitch. That was pretty stupid. I mean, anything to save my life. Hey, you can't you just know. leave me here! Yes, I can. Max, tell me exactly what you're feeling. Laura, I... I don't feel so good. Not good like how? I don't know, just... Bad. Come closer, let me see your eyes. I think I better stay back. Max, I need to observe you. Yeah, I think he 
should stay back. Oh shit. Is this fucking close enough for you, bitch? Oh. Damn. Max? Oh, here we go. Is he gonna do the, like what Tyler Max? does on Vampire Diaries where he breaks out the bone what's in his going body? On. Here we go. Ooh, his hand. Max! Got her eye, and he broke the handcuffs or whatever was tying her to that. Fuck! Damn, lost her fucking eye. I mean, hey, at least we won't be fighting over what's on each other's plates. <laughs> nice. So much for depth perception. Let's see what that bastard cop's hiding. She needs to go. It's not gonna let me see any more of him. Oh, are there others in here? Let's see if there's anything in here. I don't know where to look. There's so many places to look. What's he hiding? Okay, I don't think I'm in the option to kick it down. Okay, can't go that way. What are you hiding, Travis? Cease and desist letter. That's the only thing I don't like going out to eat when it's a holiday sometimes is how busy it is. Fuck. I'm gonna need to rest soon. I see a picture on here. Ha. Mama's boy. 56, huh? <laughs> 56. That means he was born in 1965. Here. You miss healthy meals. I mean, you could still have healthy meals. It's just hard, I know, because I know I don't really have the willpower for it. But we can. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, I think this is a piece of his badge. Whoever was wearing this can't be doing too well. Um, charred sheriff's badge. <laughs> the Pac-Man's look so weird floating on the screen. They're just yellow balls. They didn't even have the mouth open. <laughs> Is that all there was? Yeah, right? They weren't even, that wasn't even Pac-Man. Look. <laughs> That's so funny. I need to lie down. Yeah, I don't really know where a safe spot would be for you to lie down. Hey, that's what he injected me with, I think. This must be what he used to knock me out. That's what I just said, bitch. I can hide this in my cell. Oh, smart! And then she can take a nap. And then knock his dumb ass out. Yeah! I like it. We have a plan. That's a good point. I didn't even think about that. There are a lot of places closed on Thanksgiving. You're right. I do not like the sound of that. Um, nom 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 nom. <laughs> Hello? Um, I don't think she knows his password. Hello? Hey, there we go. At least those work. Nice. not gonna know the password not so much a hint as a slap in the face <sighs> so 1965 but no day or month I have exhausted this and myself I need to sleep. Alright, I better get out of here before she passes the fuck out on me. Okay, I recognize the blood. Yep, alright, she's gonna go to sleep. Nah, she needs to go to sleep. I should call it to. I wanted to beat the game, but I'm getting kind of. I haven't even had dinner you want yet. To tell me what and happened? it is two in the morning. I could ask you the same thing. Why didn't you run? I won't leave Max. This doesn't mean I trust you. I don't care. I just want to help him. 
Turn around, hands against the wall. Seriously? I am too tired to argue. But... Ugh. Me too. <laughs> no! He's gonna find the... <gasps> no! He's gonna find the... <gasps> the thing I was gonna use to put him to sleep! Oh no! Oh. So you made yourself at home. That's what you used to knock me out with, isn't it? This is dangerous. Shit. Could you not have used that on Max last night? Maybe I'd still have two good eyes. Yes? <laughs> yes, but it's really fucking hard to do. Damn! Uh, he knew he didn't trust me. Of course he'd pat me down. What's this? An education. Watch. Oh man, he's gonna make him watch what he did to me, isn't he? Or his girly friend, I should say. <laughs> I agree, this game is awesome. I'm gonna finish this chapter. Nice job cleaning up. The eye, I mean. It's harder than they make out in the textbooks. Especially when nobody's helping you. You're the doctor. Uh, animal doctor and no I'm not and I probably never will be stuck in here forever you know just cuz you know doesn't mean you know you know no you're uh, confusing me if that's big in riddles what I'm not this isn't what it seems to be. You're gonna have to be more specific. You and Max are in just as much trouble as I am. My family? We didn't mean to hurt anybody. We're just trying to survive like everybody else. Do you understand? Not really. We're going to end this thing once and for all. <laughs> we? Yeah. Okay. Fine, yeah. let's end it. Let's fucking do it. Let Max and I go and we'll find someone who can help. Not what I had in mind. Okay, then what you have in mind? You're seriously asking for my help? I don't want you to help me. You're gonna do this for Max, and I'm gonna get what I need. Let's see how smart you really are. What is it? What is this? Information. Well, what does it mean? I think that's why he wants Read you it. to find out. When full the moon above shines first, the beast internal shall outward burst. One by one leads lambs to slaughter. It stalks your breath, but shuns clear water. And should you yourself be cursed, armed with silver and the first, when moon is full before its wane, rend the beast that cursed you slain. No longer shall you face your blight or fear the dread of full moon's light. So does that mean on a full moon they have to yeah. shoot them with silver? Keep reading. 
Oh, there's more. Okay. No, I think I can trust him. And if it's a bite with which you're faced, cleave limb from torso with great haste. Perchance you'll save your cursed soul before infection takes its toll. Starting to get the picture. It's not a lot to go on. Hmm. And frankly, it's shit. Why did they have to make it rhyme? I don't know. To make it easier to remember. That's all we have That's to what go I would on. think. Kill the werewolf that bit you, and you'll be cured. It has to be silver. It has to be. How would you full find the the one that bit you, though? Seems pretty straightforward to me. If you can kill the werewolf, and that's a big if. I just want to cure Max. It's not as straightforward as you think. Nice. So we're going on a werewolf hunt. If you knew all this, why didn't you just kill it in the storm shelter when you had the chance? It's not so. I'm. Mean, I, I was when I straightforward. No, yeah, it's so not. You... They're not so easy to hit. I was trying to protect you too. He's a good guy. Yeah, I knew it. So what's the plan? Well, that's where I'm hoping you'll come in. Me? As bait? Yeah. Because your studies. I haven't even started. Well, you're the best option I got. I've been hunting this... Damn white wolf under the full moon so long I start to think it doesn't exist, you know? Maybe it doesn't matter because maybe there's another way. So there's only one? He said Whatever white you wolf. believe, hmm. there's gotta be some science. And you do science. Look. Take some time to think about all this. I'll be back in the morning. Seen enough? Oof. I would not want to watch myself do that. Especially if I took out my loved one's eye and they made me watch it. I don't think I'd believe a word he just said if I hadn't... Watched it for yourself. I haven't seen that. I believe him. You can't tell me you really trust that guy now. I didn't say that. I said I believe him about the werewolf stuff, not the science bit. I don't know what he wants. He's a dirty line kidnapping cop, Laura. We should be careful of anything that fucker says. I mean, you just took my eyeball out, so I think I'm gonna believe the cop. Well, fuck him. He's had his chance to fix this. We're getting out of here and we're gonna fix it on our own. So they're escaping. Hey, Laura? Yeah? I saw what happened. What I did to your eye. Yeah. Is it bad? Um, yeah, my eye is gone. Yeah, it's pretty bad. I only have one eye. I'm so sorry. It wasn't you. I know it wasn't you. I know. But it was. Whoever does his acting is so bad. I don't feel any emotions when We're he gonna talks. fix you, Max. I know. I promise. It was not me. <laughs> so monotone. I promise. It got awkwardly quiet. There we go. Let me go! Alright? Let me go! I'll call the fucking cops! <laughs> 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 Why are you laughing? 
because that was funny. It's... That's too, Bobby. He might actually meet Max. Hey! Hey! Hey, where are you going? Hey! Hey! Shit. I hope that wasn't because of my game playing. It's always nice to see you. Isn't it fun delving into no. the past? Not with They're you, you creep bad me lot, out. Aren't they? Shall we have a look at what you found? I don't think I found anything. Oh, just kidding. I did. I just teased him. The chariot. At the reins of a chariot, we would all feel safe, taking control, relying on determination to make our choices. Valiant, but in some cases, foolish. Many seek refuge in chariots. But perhaps, in some cases, they're not as safe as we think they are. And the same question as always. Will you let me show you No, more? stop trying to spoil shit. See, when she said they're not as safe as we think they are, I think she heard me, guys. She can hear me. I literally said, maybe those guys aren't good guys. And then she was like, maybe they're not as safe as they as you think they are. I'm on to something. I think I was right. Suit yourself. Don't say I didn't at least try. Jeez. Shut up, Rude. You'll be seeing me a few more times before the night's over. I look forward to that. As long as you follow the right path, of course. I have nine counselors and they're all alive. I think I'm following the right path. I mean, two are werewolves, but they're alive. They're not dead. So I think I'm doing okay. Thank you, Granny, for your concern. All right, well, that wraps up that chapter. It finally got a little longer. That one got pretty good. We finally got to hear what happened to Laura McKern McKierney? McKierney. Um, it was quite interesting, the eye thing. Oh my gosh, when he ripped her eye out, they did, oh no, they did a great job on that part. I was like, oh damn, like that, I, okay. That was great. I don't even have words to express um, how that part made me feel. Um, but yeah, so it's going pretty good so far. We're going to find out what happens next. So it turns, it seems like if they kill the big lone white wolf, it can save everybody, right? But it, we haven't really figured out how they kill it or how they find it. So I think that's what we're going to find out the next chapter. So stay tuned for that. It's coming, y'all. It's coming. So yeah, we're going to finish this series. I'm really excited. So hopefully I see you guys tomorrow for the next episode. And if you're enjoying this, please be sure to subscribe. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and hit the like button um, because I am sometimes awesome and I appreciate it. And have a great night and hopefully I'll see you guys later.